it is time to acquire the sickest character so far released in Natlan, Shalonen. She raps, she's a DJ, she has all of the cool things, she's awesome. Uh, we, as you can see, don't have a lot of pulls for her, which is a problem, and we don't have a lot of pity, and we're on a 50-50, but let's give it a shot, let's see, hopefully we can get Shalonen, because she's cool. Plus, she's a, is a support, so we can still use her, obviously, because otherwise I wouldn't be pulling. Bannon's actually pretty decent. Kole's garbage, but Candace and Dory are both supports that we can use. I would mind some more copies of Dory, just purely because I plan on turning her into a DPS at some point. So, I don't know, more copies of her could do something, I guess. Not really. Let's go. I've seen people getting really lucky with earlies and 50-50 wins on this banner, so hopefully... We can join that party of early 50-50 wins. Not this early, though. Now, as long as we don't see a Kole, I'm happy-ish. I'll take Favonia's sword. It's okay. Now, we are not going to be able to do another 10 pulls. So we're going to singles. Because, yeah, I have sort of been farming, but we don't have a lot of pulls. So, last pull that we can do now, we get a lovely, cool steal. I'm not going to do Natlan now, I don't think. I'm probably going to do a whole separate video of 100%ing Natlan. But as you can see, we have a little bit of exploration here. We have 44% down here. I can get this statue pretty far up. I have 24 of these, apparently. And by pretty far, I mean probably level 2. Yep, level 2. But as usual, this video will probably come out right at the end of her banner, just because that's when we're going to end up with enough pools. Let's chuck these... 130 pyro sigils into the this thing what's it called tablet of toner yeah something like that this will give us pretty decent 200 pulls plus two acquaint fates now before we go do any more pulls i've already done as much spiral abyss as i can this season or this round or whatever can i do any of the imaginarium theater probably not Ooh, wait. Whoa, we get 120 primos. That's insane. Okay, well, yeah, I'm going to deal with that later. So I'll probably go through and put some kind of a build on the characters that we have to use in there. And then I'll try it again. For the meantime, though, let's see if we can acquire. We have two Santa Pools. Let's do them really quick. And then let's see if we can acquire... A Shalonen. Ooh, four star. Usable something? I have too many of them, but yeah, I guess it's usable. Okay, Shalonen, would you like to come home early? Pretty, pretty please. Okay, four star. Usable? It is usable. We can use Candace. Okay, well, now I won't be doing anything else because I can't. Now I will be going and farming for that other video and getting that done. And then we'll be back in 15 days and 59 minutes, most likely. Because that's I'll need as many pulls as I can get. And we can try to get Shalonen. We obviously will need to win the 50-50, which is painful. But we'll give it our best shot. So I will see you in a while. It is now only like three days later or something. And we are back. I have done... A absolute load of farming, as you would have seen from the big 100%ing video. We've got a lot of stuff done. We are going to go to my favorite spot in the game as of now. And do our Shalonen pulls, or whatever pulls we can get done, over here. I didn't think we could go here, but that's not where I was meaning to go. I was meaning to be here. There we go. This is where I want to be. We have a very nice total of 33 pools saved up for Shalonen. Well, grinded for Shalonen over two days of 100%ing Natlan. We are sitting at 26 pity. So we're going to need to get quite lucky if we want to get Shalonen. Let's see how things go. First 10 pool. This is 36 pity. We get a Layla. She's already C6 though, because we got her C6 in the 100%ing video, but I'll take it. That's another free pull. 
Also, why are we getting Layla? She's not even right up on the banner. 46 pity. Let's see a Candace. Awesome. Usable. I will take it. 56 pity. We still only get a five star. Are we going to get another Candace? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Well, we are down to single pulls. We have five single pulls left. We're now at 57, 58, 59, four star, stringless, 60 pity, maybe 61 pity, okay, 62 pity, still no five star. Well, we now have a C4 Candice. We can grab a couple more Primos because Spiral Abyss has reset. So we can give Spiral Abyss a shot. Well, there is floor 10 done. Very, very easy. Well, there is floor 11 done now. Do I want to do floor 12? Not really. So we keep going. This is now 60 something. Cole, useless. 60 something again. And still 60 something. This might be like 67 or something. I'm not sure. Whatever the case is, it's useless. Well, we are pretty close to five star pity, I think. And we have this event, which I've already done as much as I can now. So we get a couple more pre rolls from this. Not too many though. But we're pretty close, so I think we should be able to get to 5-star pity easily within 12 days. Hey, would you look at that? We can get the Statue of the Seven in Fontaine up to level 6, I think. What did that give us? It gave us a key. I know exactly where a shrine is. Well, there is the fountain up to its next level. We currently have 133 primos. We're just short of another pool. Let's see if we can get a four star though on the standard banner. I doubt it because I think we just got Layla. Yep, no four star there. Well, I don't really want to do it, but there's a quest down here that gives you 50 primos. And I don't think it's going to be a super, super long quest. And I feel like that's going to be easier for me to do right now instead of trying to pull out the interactive app and trying to find chests. So let's just see if this is going to be a long quest. There we go. That took a tiny bit longer than I would have liked. And now it's kind of close for dailies resetting my main account and Fontaine only. So we now have one more pull. I don't think Pity has reset, so I can't see. Oh, wait. No, it has. I think we're at like 66 maybe or so, Pity. Something like that. Are we going to see early? No, we are not. Okay. Well, that means that we're going to go have to wait some more. So I'll come back later on. I should only need like five or so, maybe five, ten more pulls. So I shouldn't need too much more. So I'll come back once I have that. I will do, you know, this event and all the other events that come out. Uh, we've got main story quest I should actually do. We will get around to doing that Archon quest. And that will get us enough pulls to hopefully get Shalonen. So I shall see you in a day or two whenever I've done up my main account so I can do it on this account. Okay, we have returned and it is time for big quest. Probably one of the best quests in almost any gotcha game, in my opinion. Act 4 of Natlan. It is actually insane. I finished my main account all that long ago. And my goodness, is it good. To the point where I did not look away from my screen for the entire almost four hours of the quest while I was doing it on my main account, which... I haven't done on any other quest. Almost every quest I have, you know, maybe there's been bits where I'm not paying full attention. But basically this entire act four, I was paying attention the entire time because, oh my god, is it so good. So yeah, now it is time to go do that so we can get our lovely Shalonen. Obviously we have a couple pulls already. That's just from doing this event and daily commissions and stuff like that. I'm not going to do... Shalonen story quest because I haven't done it on my main account. I want to do it on my main account first. Also, this video is probably already going to be kind of long. So I'm just going to do that when we build Shalonen because that gets her enough stuff to get up to level 60, which means building her is going to be easier. Speaking of building, uh, I saw a bunch of comments about Raiden here saying we shouldn't run electro damage. So I've swapped her to an attack goblet 
I, I haven't fixed anything else with her, but I have swapped her to an attack goblet, and she now has pretty decent stats, are a little bit better, but she hits, she hits a lot more now. She was doing, I think, 42 or 43 was what she was hitting max before with the electro damage goblet, and then did one little test run with her using the national team, and she hit 150k. So that's a lot more damage, which is lovely, and we love to see that. I mean, before we do this, we might as well do these couple pulls we have already and see if we can get Shalona and use Shalonan for this as well. We're at 66 pity on a 50-50. Let's just see if we can grab Shalonan a little bit early, and we can maybe mess around with Shalonan doing the Sarkon quest. Uh, no, we cannot. We need a couple more pulls, so we will deal with that once we get those couple more pulls. So, without further ado, let's begin with the best quest that has ever been released. This is where we find out why the captain is just emptiness, basically. Because his body has decayed or something, because he's lived for too long, but his body can't stand living for that long or something like that. That's why Dainsliff's right arm, I think, is like a bluey black color. The amount of people you can save actually changes depending on how fast you do it. Which would have been nice to know before I did my main account where I had a final total of like 4,000 deaths or something. We're going for sub 2,500 this time. We're going as fast as possible. Save as many people as we can. Oh yes, this is one of my favorite cutscenes in this part. It's one of my favorite character versus enemy fights or cutscenes in the entire game. It is so sick. Also, now confirmed, Auroron is going to be a bow user, which I didn't really expect. Yep, and now we... Ooh, I'm doing really well. Only 200. That is really good. We got to keep this up. I was at like 1,000 or 1,200 last time. I'm doing really good. We got to keep this up. 300. It's not horrible. It's, it's still not great. Because unlike the other quests where you sort of, you know, just watching it and you can't change anything, this quest you can actually change the outcome of it. You can make the outcome better or worse depending on how fast you do it. And yep, that's gone to 1800. We, oh no, I don't like that. I was doing so well. It was at 360 last time and now it's at 1800. Can this balloon go any quicker? We're supposed to be doing this as fast as possible. Why does this thing go so slow? And now we get easily one of the saddest and most unexpected and unnecessary bits of this quest. Because when I first did this, I was like, oh no, not Koichi, but it's like, oh, Traveler's cleansing her, she'll be, she'll be right. It might be close, but she'll be, she'll be fine. But uh, no, Genshin decided that uh, they had other ideas. And what makes it worse was Koichi is like one of my favorite NPCs. She has one of the coolest designs, in my opinion, out of an NPC. I still don't understand how Auroron is most likely going to be a 4-star. I don't think that's been confirmed anywhere, but we're getting Chaska and Auroron next update. So I'm assuming Auroron's going to be a 4-star. Which makes no sense, considering how much influence he has in this story. But I mean, then again, Ningguang was the same. Now we get sick cutscene. Okay, let's go use Mavweeka aerial support to go beat the absolute crap out of everyone and everything. Now one thing that I still don't understand is this, are we fighting the Abyss Order or the Abyss? Because if, if it's the Abyss Order, where was Aether's head when he decided that this was a good idea? Because there is no one in their right mind who'd think that this is a good idea. Ugh, a howl's coming in way too hot. Is it possible to mute him? Done. Thank you, Mavweeka. I agree, Paimon. That's Best thing my week has ever done. Mute a how. Next you can mute Paimon as well. Thank you for pointing me in the direction. That is very useful. I definitely don't have a quest marker to tell me where I need to go. 4,000. Okay. Okay, thank, thank God. 1,862. You know what? I will take it. I'm pretty sure that is one of the lowest scores you can get. So that's, that's a lot better than the almost double, like... 5,000 I had on my main account when I did this because I didn't rush it. I went too slow. Must you say that every five seconds? I, I get it. We're doing this for Natlan. It's not like we're doing this for Sumeru. That action frames are insane. Also, fake sky. 
that's really cool. And as Genshin do, drop one of the biggest lore speculations just out of nowhere. We have successfully finished the war, mostly. That took an hour 24, so taking off the first bit, probably about an hour 40 minutes, I'd say, maybe 40 minutes of fighting. And now this sets up Act 5 very, very nicely, which, just by the sounds of things, is going to be so good. I like how they've done this. Well, that's an optional objective. I don't actually need to talk to all of them if I don't want to. Obviously, I would in my main account when I'm actually doing the story, because... I want to get all the information we can, but when I'm just spamming through it, I can just skip talking to basically everyone, which saves at least three minutes. Oh wait, this bit's cool. We get to use map weaker kind of to some extent. I mean, not really. We just get to, you know, walk around us here. We can't do anything else. However, I'm pretty sure this is the first time like ever we've been able to even just walk around as a character that hasn't even had their drip marketing marketed yet. I don't think there's been any other time where we've even been able to see the character like in this way before their release, which I think is pretty cool. You get to see how her crazy looking hair flows while she walks. There's one thing that annoys me about Mavuika's design. It's not very big, but it annoys me. See how her hair is basically perfectly symmetrical the whole way, but there is that one little bit on the left side that isn't on the right side. And it annoys me because the rest of her hair is perfectly symmetrical or almost just some little bits but it's basically perfectly symmetrical and then there's just that one little bit that being said though she still does have my favorite hair design out of basically any character in genshin and with that there we go natlan is done well now we claim all our daily commissions that pool obviously the 500 primos we are at 69 pity now i think so 70 pity we see a four star that is not useful 71 pity 72 pity we are on a 50 50 so we need to win 50 50 73 pity 74 pity 75 pity please five star oh my god really well this is fun because this video needs to be done like today, preferably. We are going to have a new event tomorrow. I could grab 10 more of these and then we can get a standard pool and then maybe, fingers crossed, we get a four star. We get one more thing. Then we can buy a other pool. Okay, that is now enough to ascend Kujo Sara. Might as well level her up. There we go, level 60. Now we grab this. We go here, standard banner, four star. Dang it. Now, uh, this might be a little bit excessive, but I have gone and farmed everything, I think, to get Jean up to level, yep, level 80, which means she's on par with everyone else, mostly. But the main reason I did that is so I can do this, and now I can have one more pull. And this one more pull is going to give us a four star. Never mind. That does leave me with one other option then. Chevrus. Now Chevrus can go to 60, which means I can grab another standard pool and get a four star. Thank you. There we go. Okay. It's kind of useless, but doesn't really matter because it gives us one of these. Now, Shalonen. Yep. Of course. What else did I expect? Really? Well, we can try Imaginarium Theater again, I guess, because I did see a pretty decent amount of comments, but I have decided we are counting Dia as a support. Obviously, Fischl is not, but when I, I need four people. But we are counting Dia as a support. I did ask that in my last video or something, and I did get enough comments saying that they would count her as a support. So we are counting Dia as a support. So maybe we can make this burst, which does pretty horrible damage actually do something decent. Obviously, that's when we eventually get her. Okay, well, we've had a good run, except this is as far as we can go. We can't push any further because we don't have enough characters that are usable to do that. So, 320. Not bad. I will take that. Let's bring home Shalonen. 
Come on. What pity are we at now? Surely, surely this is a five star. Okay, I'm, I think I was reading that pity way wrong. No, that's like, we're like 78 pity or something now. We'll, we should be, we should have a five star by now. I think we are just going to have to wait until tomorrow where that event's out. So I'll see you tomorrow. We'll hopefully get Shalonen or enough pools to get Shalonen. Okay, we have arrived at the next day. I have already done the quest line here. So now we can do these three little challenges things and get some more primos. And we're at, I just checked our pity. We're at 78 pity. So we surely have to get Shalonen on the next pool. Okay, that one done. That's very easy. Now we have this one, which is basically, I don't know, Genshin Impact Subway Surfers. Well, there's that one done now as well. Now this one, which is fighting, so should also be relatively easy. Perfect, got a gold. That is now all of the event done. We now have 306 pulls. That is enough for one pull. Two if I get one more chest. But that's all we need is one more Oh, there we go. Five star, please be Shalonen. Yes. Oh my God. Jesus Christ, his account is lucky. This, that, what? That's like our fourth, third? I know I meant, I said it in the last video. I think it's like our third 50-50 win in a row or something now. Oh my God. Yes, now we have Shalonen. She just buffs damage so insanely much. That was a sentence. And she is sick. This rollerblading thing is awesome. So uh, I'm that I'm stoked. Oh my god, we this account is so unbelievably lucky. Oh yes, we love to see it. Now I know for a fact I don't have like anything to level her up, but that's fine. That's sick. I love the DJ thing. Well, we can get her up to 50. We have just missing a couple things to go to 60, but that is fine. We will deal with that in a little bit probably next video and in next video we will also do this because this will give us some more stuff so we can get her leveled up a little bit quicker we also now have one more standard pool lovely so i am very very stoked we now have shalonen i'm very happy so hope you guys enjoyed if you like this sort of content do consider subscribing and uh, yeah hope you guys enjoyed good bye